Relevant decision makers are set to converge on Abuja for the Africa Social Impact Summit, which seeks to drive collaboration, create sustainable jobs and businesses, which will impact the prosperity of Africa. Rising from a press conference in Lagos, the organizer Sterling One Foundation says the summit, which is hinged on the 17th Sustainable Development Goal, will focus on climate action, education, health, agriculture, circular economy, and women empowerment. The summit aims to provide opportunities for impact investors to scale market-led solutions which have the potential for long-term impact. The session will show the different players how home-grown solutions can be backed with impact investment and the right partnerships to help Africa recover from the negative effects of COVID-19. The objective of this event is to drive collaboration. For us all to come together to bring all the relevant decision makers across Africa, the C-level executives, um, the policy makers, from the public sector to the private sector, for us all to come together, discuss, decide, and make decisions on how we're going to be collaborating going forward. Everybody keeps talking about how hunger, ending hunger is a critical part of the Sustainable Development Goal. But you're not going to end hunger by supplying food to poor people, right? Um, alleviating poverty is not how you end hunger. You actually have to create prosperity, and specifically you have to create rural prosperity so that the people who are directly involved in agriculture becomes a lot more productive. Now, if you look back into the history of, um, of Africa, of Nigeria, you find out that, you know, we like the term CSR, we like the term um, charitable donations and all. It doesn't scratch the surface, mm -hmm. right? We want people to be empowered. We want people to be able to have jobs and by so doing, create prosperity in Africa. For other partners, access to the right type of capital is a huge challenge for impact-oriented enterprises across the continent. Hence, impact investment can deliver measurable social and environmental impact alongside financial returns in African economies. We are going to create the kind of skills the world is demanding for. We want to build a digitally aware population that can become a hub for the rest of the world. Today, most of us as global companies are putting our hub, financial hubs in some countries, outsourcing this, um, this uh, kind of uh, um, resource that will develop uh, projects for, or, or that will develop uh, programs for the company. And those are the kind of people we want to actually invest in. We have a lot of entrepreneurs. We have players, we have very smart individuals who are looking to make um, the most of those opportunities. So you have a problem, but you also have an opportunity to solve it. And as you're solving that problem, there's an opportunity to actually make profit. So we talked about profit, we talked about um, purpose, impact. So um, the, the idea behind this is to be able to identify the most promising um, investors and be able to finance them in the most sustainable way. Um, I think at the, at the end of last year into this year, we made a critical decision to be part of the SDGs or partake in the SDGs and focus on two elements, which was education and health. And those are things that have been raised even at this press conference and will definitely be discussed during the summit. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.